Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. I went into the St Vincent de Paul op shop um, on Monday just to pick up a couple of books for Pacific projects that I want to make that I didn't have in my stash. Um, and I ended up spending $60. Oops. But when I show you what I got, I got a fair bit of stuff for that. Um, I usually don't buy this sort of, I usually don't buy um, or spend that much, but they sort of had some cool stuff. So this book I picked up to make a junk journal. I liked the cover of it. It was only $2, um, so I'm going to gut it completely. It's only got words in it. Um, so I'm going to gut it completely, and I want to make a hardbound homemade junk journal. So I thought I could probably fit three signatures in this. don't know whether I'm going to do a hidden spine or whether I'm going to do punch holes in this. haven't decided that yet might bring you along for the journey. I might just make it off camera. I will see. I don't know, but I loved that book. I just loved the cover. I thought that would make an awesome little, and I like the size too. I thought that might make an awesome um, notebook for like my handbag or my bag or something. Then I got this one. Again, it's just words on the inside. I like the size of it. I want to do an art journal or a book, an altered book like, um, like Laurie Reed Jenkins and Wendy Mason is starting to a little bit like it. Um, like with windows and with, again, it's sewn with like big pockets and chunky. And eventually when your book is finished, it doesn't really actually close. It sort of stands out like about this. So it's like an art piece. It's like an altered book. This would probably end up being about six pages, like six double pages. So again, I didn't have, I just wanted a little book to do that with. So, and I'll cover all the cover as well. So again, it was $2. And then I grabbed this one. This one's Princess Margaret. This one has some photos in it, which are really cool. Sorry, I'm not in frame. I'll move over. Um, has some really cool black and white pictures in it. I just like the size of the book. I um, This would make an awesome art journal, altered art journal as well. So I don't know whether I will leave some of these black and white pictures in. I'll probably tear them out. Um, and they'd be even good to cut out like as paper dolls. Some of them could be fussy cut out. So I thought that'd be pretty cool. I don't know. I just like this book. Again, it was $2. So um, I grabbed that one. And I liked this paper. Um, if I take the glossy photos out, I didn't realize it had so many glossy photos in it. Um, when I picked it up, I sort of picked it up for the size. It's a gorgeous photo. Um, but we will see how we go. Yeah, I suppose it has got a fair few... But I suppose by the time I take all the glossy photos out, it'll leave just enough pages in it and then it won't bust its spine because it's only like about a centimetre big. I don't know. I just And I like the size of it and I like the look of the cover. Again, that would pay, probably make a really good altered book like the Laurie Marie Jenkins style. As opposed to an art journal, it's more of an altered book. Then I picked up a roll of... It says ready to pasted vinyl wall cover. But this was $2 as well, which I was quite impressed about. Um, their prices seem to be really handy today, except for a couple of things I'll show you in a minute. Um, so this is like wallpaper. It said vinyl, but like it's... I don't really want to tear it, but um, it's thicker than normal sort of wallpaper. I don't know, but I like the design on it. So I thought, and look, wow, whoops. I can't get the whole roll in. So the whole roll is probably... I wonder if it's got a size here. Well, it's 10 metres... And it's 51 centimetres wide, so that's a whole lot. So I'll be sharing a bit of that in Happy Mail when I get around to doing that. And then I grabbed this doily. I've gone off buying doilies because they're usually that expensive, but I love this tatting one. I thought this would make... Um, it's quite big too. It's probably about 90 centimetres long. Um, this was only a dollar, so I grabbed it. It'd be nice to cut into pieces and use as well. Um, as I said, I usually don't buy these anymore because they're getting like, this would usually have about four or five dollars on it, which was ridiculous. I got a piece of curtaining because I like the design on it. Um, I'm going to experiment with a few of these curtain ones I picked up and a few from Spotlight and stuff on my gel plate, but I just liked the design on this one. I reckon they look really nice with sort of inks through my gel plate. Um, it was two dollars. It was so funny. I looked at it and look, it's got two price tickets on it. One's got two and one's got four. Really, St. Vinny's? Get your act together. So I went through as $2. So that's a huge amount of lace for like $2. Um, 
And then I got two of these. So again, I usually don't buy these because they're so expensive. So this was $2. What I loved about this one was this half trim on the edge. I thought that would be cool to use. And we've got some flowers in the middle, a big square in the middle that would be nice sort of wrapped around a journal. So I thought for $2 I could get lots of bits of pieces out of that. I actually got two of those. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I rated their sort of party sort of section. I ended up getting, this was a dollar, um, wedding rose petal scatters, 250 of them. I thought they would be fun to paint up and stiffen up and use in the altered book. So I just got those. I thought that'd be fun. And it's a new packet. Doesn't look like it's been opened. Sorry about the crinkling. Um, then I picked up these favour boxes for a dollar. Um, they got really cool pictures of Star Wars on them. If a certain person, a certain couple of people are watching, they may get a couple in their happy mail. You know who you are. We should know who you are. Then I picked up a pack of two packs of wrapping paper, basically for just two sheets. I fell in love with this sheet. This is just awesome. One was a dollar and one was two dollars for all this wrapping paper. And I sometimes, this is just gorgeous. I can actually see if I can scan it on my computer and print it out so it's not glossy. The purple just, I don't know, it just talked to me. Um, and there's some really, some cool ones in here. Some I'll pass on. So this one's got bells on it. Some of this looks like quite vintagey um, wrapping paper. Um, this one is... Like for you, 21st, not really interested in that one, but um, I originally had 50 cents on them and they must have like bundled them up because they're in a whole big bag. So I suppose if they don't, if they sit there a while, 50 cents, no one would buy that and then they must bundle them up. This one's got bunnies on it. Again, this one had 50 cents on it. They must have been going through and bundling stuff up that had been sat there for a while. Because um, I wouldn't pay 50 cents a sheet. That's what they are in the shop, seriously what they are in the shops. The butterfly's quite cute. I may cut some of those butterflies out or Alexis may use them. This one's boys. I remember buying these when I was probably about 10, 11 or 12 and I'd paper told them. So the different images I'd cut out the different layers and put them onto cards because my mother wouldn't buy me the expensive paper toll paper. Um, this looks like it has been used to wrap a present but the roses are quite cute. So that's a nice big bit of paper. A nice bit of baby paper. The baby one might get passed on. Nice as an underlayer of something, I suppose. This one I wasn't real impressed about. This one, someone's obviously cut some out of it, but this is a big sheet of this one. This is just, I don't know, I just love, fell in love with that paper. Galar paper. Probably have to see if I can find it. This one is gorgeous with the little horses and carriages. That would be lovely. And they sort of look quite sort of yellowed on the back, so I'm assuming they're a bit old. Um, like a few years old because you don't tend to get a lot of wrapping paper like this nowadays what have we got here this one is, I didn't really look through this properly oh flowers, oh I could definitely use that in my art journal nice background paper, even though they're shiny um, some shiny ones oh some cars they're kind of cool cars not really into cars but we'll see what we do with that, it's hard when you have to buy a whole pack um, for just a couple of sheets of paper this baby one is cute little giraffe um happy birthday one no engaged okay engaged paper the balloons would be fun to put out on that one. Oh, this one's cute the purple presents i didn't see this one this was more on the inside that's cute if not i've got some paper to wrap some presents hey this one's nice probably use that in my art journal oh flowers definitely going to cut this one up and use it in my art journal Oh, some nice pink flowers. What's that say? Just for you. That's quite a big, big bit too. Men's ties. Mm, not sure whether I'll use that one. But that'd be cute on cards. Maybe I'll donate some of these to a card making friend that I know that may be able to utilise them. Um, this is like, this looks like a wedding or an engagement one, just with pretty pictures on it. Then in the same pack had some stationery. Isn't the bear cute? He's cute. And some envelopes to go with that. Oh, one last piece. This has sort of got best wishes and like a pastel look on it. The only problem is that they're a bit shiny, but a piece of um, some gesso will dull that down. Then I picked up these and I didn't realise these were shiny. 12 party bags for $2 and an open packet for $2. I thought the open packet for $2 was a bit expensive. Um, 
they're like lunch gusseted bags but I didn't realize they were shiny but they would look really nice in a junk journal so may even use one of those in my junk journal or they'll be great to package up happy mail I thought they'd be more white but I couldn't see I suppose they do look shiny in the package I sort of had was running quick into it and I know I make stencils for my business but I couldn't leave this for two dollars um, the stencil for Kaiser Craft, it's new. No other scrapbook stuff there. Um, so I grabbed that. May keep it, may share it. Then the thing that I grabbed was some colouring books. Now I'm not a colourer. I grabbed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colouring books. Now I thought these were priced a bit expensive, but I suppose considering what they usually are in the shops or when they come out. What I do with the colouring books is I don't actually colour in them. Colouring, like opening up a page like this and colouring that in was just not, doesn't make me happy. I photocopy these sometimes, cut the images out of them and use them in my art journal. Like I might use that bunny head in my art journal if Alexis would let me, she probably won't. So this one I grabbed originally for Alexis and I was just going to grab it. She's really into bunnies and hairs and I thought it would be good just to, for her to incorporate in her art journal or I might be able to make some wall art for her bedroom or something um these are a bit busy with the background so what i tend to do is they would look really nice if you cut this out and mounted it on a different color so i got the bunnies and the hairs so that was four dollars i thought that was a bit expensive in an op shop but i got it anyway um this one the gold collection i may have this i'm not sure these were like 20 or 25 dollars when they first come out when the coloring craze hit probably three or four years ago it's sort of fading out now. I love the peacock. It's probably one of the reasons I got it. Um, again, I could tear these books up and use them in my junk journals and things. That was $4. Mermaids, Majestic Mermaids. I had to grab this one. This was cool. Again, I'd probably cut the mermaids out and use them in my art journal. Uh, or what I tend to do is sometimes with these is I will sit here and I will redraw that um, and that makes my heart happy a bit more than sitting there and colouring. So I'll sit there and use these. I'm not a great drawer from my imagination, but I'm a great copy drawer. So I could sit here and I could copy this um, seahorse basically exactly how it is and reproduce it on another piece of paper. Um, I've been doing that for years. And, oh, I love this face. Isn't this face gorgeous? Um, so there's actually a bit on my channel of showing you through my sketchbooks that I sit and sketch. I haven't done that for ages with my black and white pens. I must get back into this. So this was Dreamcatcher's A Soul Bird's Journey. So when I tear these up, I might even share some of these. Um, I know I've got a good friend on YouTube that loves birds, so watch out. Happy Mail might be coming your way when I get organised. But I love some of these just to get ideas of sort of like I love this heart shape with these swirls and then these scallops and sort of I more use these as idea books than actual to sit there and colour because that would just irritate them irritate me out of me I admire people that do it fantastic beasts I like this one some of them are interesting some of them again I don't like them with the background I would prefer to cut them out because I find they get a bit lost but I suppose when you colour them they'll pop out but I don't use them like that so I'll probably cut these ones up they're even great to use in little pieces um, so I got Fantastic Beasts. I think again this one was four dollars. That one was four dollars. That one was four dollars. I think that must have come from the one person. Country Styles. I'm going and about this one because it was four dollars, but I liked enough in it to get. It. I love the little houses. Um, so this is just a whole lot of funky shapes. This is sort of what I like to draw, so I can redraw that bird or the houses. Um, the bunny's cute. I got the bunny for Alexis. Um, I don't know what the big turnips are like, but like he'd go good in a recipe journal. Where is he? Whoops. This one. All the cuts of meat. I love the house. The house gorgeous. See, I'd use something like that in my art journal. Um, I'll colour it in or paint it in to use in my art journal, but I just won't sit there and colour for colouring's sake. Creative colouring. Um, botanicals. I love this one. This one's really cool. Um, just the way that the illustrations are done like just to copy it I love to get into a bit of Zentangle as well um, 
so I love just to sort of copy how some of the, the images are or again cut these up and use them in my art journal this one's really cool because it has like these colored pictures as well which are amazing obviously giving you suggestions of how to color them but I'll probably just cut those up and use them that was for three dollars this one is just gorgeous this one was five so these are about twenty five dollars when they originally come out um, and Johanna Bassford is just makes amazing ones so this opens up and you've got like a huge fish cover so you've got all these fish and then you've got this blue on the cover and then lost ocean this one is just amazing um, and it's got like a treasure hunt in the book as well so I'm not really in frame I hope I've been in frame for this I don't really want to refilm um, I probably should have zoomed the camera out a bit but these are just amazing so I don't know what I'm going to do with this one I admire this when it was for sale but I never picked it up like years and years ago because I just didn't know how to use it. A few of the images in it I really like. I really like this black at the back. That's really cool. This is a like fold-out panel of fish. Um, so again, I'll probably incorporate these into my art journal. The fish are really cool. Again, I probably get inspired by how they've done these scales on the fish. So yeah, a bit of a reference book. bit of a Sometimes if I want to use the image, I'll actually photocopy it. And I can do that because it's my own personal use. I love this this under the sea house. That would be cool for me to draw and incorporate in that journal page. So these are good for ideas books as well. Um, if you don't colour like me, I like the jellyfish too. That would be cool on the ship. And the last one I got was Anamorphia. Again, another one I wouldn't have paid like twenty twenty five dollars for. This one was five dollars as well. It was funny, the lady at the counter goes, one lady said, oh, gee, that's a bit expensive for books. And the other lady goes, oh, well, they're expensive in the shops. I felt like saying, yeah, they were, like $25 when they first came out five years ago. But not now. Like, I think colouring, I think art therapy colouring has had its fad and on its way out, you don't see many books. Um, this is cool how it's got, like, the house here and then, like obviously this is morphing into different stuff. So just give me some ideas. I love the horses into the rib, into the waves. Whether I can incorporate some of this into my art journal. And you'll just have to keep watching my channel and checking out. The only thing I hate is like, really, it goes right into the spine of the book. That's the only thing. And the Lost Ocean does that as well. And it irritates me because, oh, this one's not so bad. Okay, this one doesn't do it so much. This one has sort of left left space for the spine. But this one irritates me because it's right in the spine. And sort of that's going to be hard to use or it would be really hard to colour. I know it's gone across two pages, but wouldn't it be better to have like a solid book, not like, a fold, like things folded in the middle? But the butterflies are cute. Um... So I'm not going to spend a lot of time flipping through these because you've probably all seen them about five years ago. The monkeys are cute. So I will cut ele elements out of these um, and use them in my artworks. I love the birds. Like that big bird I could cut out. Um, yes, yeah, so I could download pictures like this off the internet, but sometimes I just find it's a pain and sometimes it's just easy to have the book and photocopy. And for 4 and $5, I will pick them up. I do have quite a few others I've collected when the boom hit. I'm a bit particular on which ones I'll pick up and what price I'll pay. Like, I love the elephant. So I can take that to my scanner, or it should fit, and reduce him down. He'll look really cute on a page. Or oh, the turtles are really fun. The owl. Oh, wow. Isn't the owl beautiful? Um, oh, I love the bats. The bats are cool. The fish. So I will have fun incorporating these into my art journals. I love this peacock, but... I don't know how much of him I'm going to be able to use because he's stuck in the spine. Maybe I'm just going to have to redraw him, but he is just gorgeous. I've got to sing about box at the moment. So that is my quick haul from the op shop, or not really quick. Um, lots of colouring books. As I said, I went in for a couple of books, art books, and ended up buying a whole bunch of stuff. But I did get some good bargains. Um, so stay tuned, subscribe if you want to see some of this put into use. I will try and film what I can. Sometimes I just want to sit and play and then I will do a talk through video. Thank you very much for watching. I will leave you now and I've got an idea. I'm going to go play in my art journal and see what I can come up with.
bye for now let me know if you think that the coloring books are a bit expensive for the art the op shop I'm surprised these are only two dollars sometimes they're more expensive the books um, let me know how your op shop prices are going if you see these doilies around for like a dollar or two dollars or they're getting more expensive it's interesting to see different parts of Australia what the prices are bye for now